First up is Two World Trade Center, a structure rising to over 80 stories that is set to be constructed close to the Ground Zero site in Lower Manhattan. The tower will sit between two very different New York neighborhoods, the Financial District with its numerous glass skyscrapers and Tribeca with its lofts and roof gardens. From the World Trade Center site, the building will appear to match those adjacent to it, whilst the view from Tribeca will be of its stepped garden terraces. Although foundations have been installed and the slab has been formed more or less to street level, the construction of the tower itself is currently on hold as tenants for the new building are sought. Numerous high-profile media organisations have flirted with the idea of calling the tower home. It's expected that works will progress as economic outlooks improve. The structures are designed to blend with the surrounding Taiwanese landscape. Their stripped forms run east to west to offer the best views, while shading properties from Taiwan's intense tropical climate. Green roofs help the residences to further blend with the surroundings whilst mitigating heat gains. Working in close collaboration with Google themselves and British designer Thomas Heatherwick, Ingalls and the team sought to bring the tech giant's innovative spirit into the physical realm, refusing to build a corporate headquarters and instead forming a vibrant new neighbourhood of Mountain View in California. Google's energy-efficient North Bayshore campus will be formed of flexible working space within a glass envelope that blurs a line between the indoor and outdoor worlds. Ingalls notes that nature is not overly programmed or prescribed and brings this concept of flexibility into Google's work environment so that they can quickly adapt to changing work patterns over the coming decades. Indeed, the facility goes out of its way to embrace nature and links to the local community, combating the sea of concrete parking across Silicon Valley and in its words, helping the organisation to keep their feet on the ground. Ingalls and Heatherwick are also currently collaborating on the design of Google's new home in London. The uniquely formed residential tower rises to 467 feet, around 142 metres, in its northeast corner, opening views from the courtyard across the Hudson River. Its slope is punctuated by terraces and links the low-rise structures to the south with the surrounding towers to the north. Its courtyard is inspired by a traditional Copenhagen urban oasis and provides residents with green space in the heart of Manhattan. The building is one of the most impressive new additions to the New York skyline and has made Ingalls a name for himself in the US. Hyperloop is a new high-speed transportation system devised by Elon Musk this build is the fastest way to cross the surface of the Earth. Pods containing passengers and cargo are loaded onto transporters that travel at airline speed and pressurized tubes using electronic propulsion and magnetic levitation. We told you it was mind blowing. Proposals for a link between Abu Dhabi and Dubai in the UAE will bring the two cities within just 12 minutes of each other, smashing the two hour car journey time. Bjark Ingalls has designed the pods and portals, or stations, in the two cities with a focus on increased convenience and reduced interruptions for the travel experience. Each passenger pod has room for six people and a range of seating configurations. They operate autonomously from the transporters and can move on regular roads to collect passengers at any point. Other projects that just missed our list, but are of course worthy of mention, include Ingalls Serpentine Gallery design in the United Kingdom, Lego House, a Lego Visitors Experience Centre that is currently under construction in Denmark, and proposals for the Yongsan International Business District in South Korea.